What's up YouTube and Guilty Gear 8 um, I got a question regarding the sounds of the Drift Racers. Is there any differences? Uh, how do they sound? So we're going to test that out right now. On the left of the chair you can see my custom body which is the R35 Skyline. Um, in real life that's a D1 GP drift car. It has 1000 brake horsepower which I can also choose in the app which I'm very happy about. Um, the white one is a V8 and the blue one is a V12. We are now having the... Um, I need to zoom in because I'm filming with my tablet and I'm not uh, being able to film with my phone right now. Um, so we have the arcade setup which is 533 brake horsepower. Thank you very much screen. So we got that ready. We go back to the cards and we press, press play. There we go. You can see it works, the lights are going on and off. You know that that's the car that we're looking for. I need to, um, wait, I need to get the sound up. There. I hope it's loud enough. So that's the engine sound of 533 brake horsepower, which is on the standard mode. Now we're going to go back to tuning. I'm going to use the basic setup. It's probably going to be the same. It's only going to differentiate the handling, I suppose. But might as well just do it for the video. It might change. It does change a little bit. It's a little bit more aggressive. going to change it to 710 brake horsepower and you can see it on the uh, on the card there we go to the next one wait I did that wrong menu tuning I have to go down here and now we have the high rpm boost with 980 brake horsepower and uh, there are also some so uh, there are also some four wheel basic and four wheel drive setups but I suppose those are the same even though I have them unlocked um, they all have the same brake horsepower settings, so they must be the same sound. It only changes the handling of the car because it goes from rear wheel drive to four wheel drive. And there's a difference in that because you can like uh yeah, you can really see how the car moves differently in four wheel drive. So we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna check out the last one here on the list, which is the high RPM boost. I'm gonna go back to the card, press play. I'll use my finger up here so you can see the RPMs. I'm going to use the lights again so that you can see it's that one. Yep. So you can clearly hear that it's way higher on the RPMs. That's what it says also on the card, higher RPM boost. So it's really cool that they change up the sounds and that it's just not like a simple thing that is only one car with only one specific sound. So it's really cool. And of course, don't forget that you can change the engines if you want.
and um, we're probably going to get in the future uh, more engines because they're also upgrading the cars right now on Kickstarter you can still uh, support them I think I think the Kickstarter is still running you can support them with the new metal bodies that they're uh, producing right now which is a Mercedes Evo an old one and a BMW E30 so check that out if you haven't already and go check out stormkin.com we're gonna go uh, to the V8 car right now and press play it's gonna connect real quick there we go turn on the lights so that you know which one it is Put that one right there and zoom back in here be careful that it doesn't drive off the, the chair so we're gonna go back to car tuning put it on basic setup 550 PS aka 550 brake horsepower we're gonna press play again and here we go turn on the lights <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go back again to the card. We're gonna get the performance kit 700 brake horsepower. Play, start, stop, turn the lights on. Again. Okay, so here we go, um, back to car tuning, we're going to put it on the supercharger, 920 brake horsepower, let's see how different this sounds, play on the white V8, turn on the lights, zoom in on this, there we go. Really different as well. There you go. That was the supercharger, as you can see right there. Power 920 brake horsepower. And there you go, that was the V8. And now we're gonna switch over to the red turbo. It was on 1000 brake horsepower. I already have everything or almost everything unlocked except uh, front wheel drive. But I personally uh, don't really care much about front wheel drive. Sure, I wanna unlock it just for fun, but I'm more a rear wheel drive kind of dude, um, especially because I love drifting. I don't do much racing as well, which I wanna do too, but I love drifting more than anything so we're going to put it on 565 brake horsepower arcade setup um, as you can see right there it's been selected i'm going to press close back to the cards press the play button i want to turn on the lights but you're not going to be able to see that so it doesn't matter hold the handbrake or the clutch Really aggressive, which is what I like. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to uh, tuning again. We're gonna put it on 565 basic setup. I love how fast everything is. <laughs> There you 
go. Now we are going to go to wait menu again. I have to tune it to 750 brake horsepower. There we go. Like the noticeable difference is that it's way faster and higher on the RPMs. And you can clearly see that when I drive with the car, when you switch between the, the 565 normal and like the 1000 brake horsepower, which we are going to do now, it really is a difference in how the car handles. And of course the sounds may change minimal uh, here and there, but other sounds like going from low um, brake horsepower to high brake horsepower really changes a lot. So now we got it on 1000, back to the card. We're gonna see on the car that it says 1000 brake horsepower at power. Press play again. And this is normally the setup that I drive with because that car, that, that body, the R35 Skyline, um, is actually 1000 brake horsepower. So that's what I really like about it, about the model that I made it like that. <laughs> Do you hear the difference in how the turbo spools up and how like the wastegate and the blow valve uh, or the blow valve works together with the engine like that? It's really different, which is what I really love about this. And that was it. I hope uh, Guilty Gear that you like this video. I hope everybody else does as well. And if there's anything else I can do for you guys on YouTube, let me know. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.